Before we move on to the recipes, we need to make the crucial ingredient for all of these recipes, which is pinto beans. Now you can use canned if you want to, but I personally prefer to make my own pinto beans. I find that they come out much softer and I find that the liquid actually comes out pretty tasty and it helps to make the mashed beans just so much creamier so that's just a personal preference i start by making sure that my beans are thoroughly cleaned you got to make sure there's no rocks in there so do sort them before you rinse them and these i i don't know why but i have found that certain beans take longer to cook but the the ones from Whole Foods, that's where I pick them up. They actually cook a lot faster, so I enjoy buying them from there. And I do rinse them a couple of times because sometimes beans do have a little bit of dirt, you know, they're plants, so. And now that it's done, add it to your instant pot. And I add garlic powder and some onion powder. I add salt at the very end once I'm actually serving the beans, just because I also use these for my baby. So I don't add any salt until the very, very end. And I cover it all the way to the top. I also don't measure the amount of beans necessarily. I don't overflow it. You know, I think you could just eyeball it and you could kind of tell, but I always add liquid to the most that it could go in my little mini instant pot and they come out perfect all the time. So there we go. Hi friends and welcome here. I hope that you are having just the most lovely day. I hope that you had just such a wonderful week and if you had something fun happening this week then please let me know. I'd love to hear about it down in the comments. Uh, for us this past week we headed to a coffee shop and it was super fun. We got to just enjoy some time together and it was just a super sweet time so please let me know if you had anything fun and exciting this weekend or you know just even the normal things of life can be really sweet. Today we are going to be making making three simple and easy meals with pinto beans. Pinto beans are that bean that I just love. That and black beans and chickpeas, I guess, too. I have a love for beans. If you're vegan or plant-based, and you probably do too. And these recipes will work well with just about any type of bean, but specifically, I would say with pinto beans because the way they mash up really well makes it perfect for two specifically two of these recipes which are going to be the quesadillas and the tostadas so i'm excited to share them with you as for the first recipe you can kind of mix and match it with just about any but really each type of bean has its own unique flavor so definitely with this rice bowl it hits the spot and it's really delicious i hope that you enjoy these three recipes so let's get started So for the pinto bean and rice bowl, I am going to be using some of those pinto beans that I cooked up in the pressure cooker. You're going to need some grain of some kind. I am using white rice and brown rice mixed together. I found that that helps me to eat more brown rice and this is just a new hack that we learned this week. I can't have a healthy rice bowl without some veggies, so I made some broccoli and we're going to have it steamed up some type of greens as well. You are going to need some white onion. I personally find that white onion works best for this rather than purple or yellow onion. Some lemon for the topping, fresh cilantro, salt and pepper, and lastly you're going to need some salsa verde. You can use any salsa that you want but this is my personal favorite store-bought salsa. Now we're going to start assembling our bowl and put it all together with minimal effort. It could be ready in under 5 minutes once you warm everything up. 
Start by adding in your rice, add in your beans, and add in your choice of vegetable as well. My option is usually always broccoli or cauliflower. Those two I love so much, they're my favorite. I added arugula, some cilantro, lots and lots of onion, because I love onion and cilantro. I'm also going to drizzle it with the Trader Joe's green salsa. This is so delicious. I used to make my own, but sometimes when I don't have time to make my own, I just rather buy you know, a store-bought one, and I like the Trader Joe's one, so I'm going Going to use that and that is it you have an easy and simple bowl top it off with some lemon for that extra you know tang oh delicious and that's it for that first recipe for the simple rice and bean bowl full of flavor yet so simple and easy to put together Let's make some quesadillas. So of course you're gonna need some flour tortillas. These are the ones I'm using from Trader Joe's. I could not find, I'm surprised. They have the corn tortillas that has literally three ingredients, but they don't have a regular flour tortilla that has minimal ingredients. So I'm on the hunt for one. If you have a healthy flour tortilla option that you enjoy that's actually made of flour, then let me know please. You're also gonna need some lime, some chunky salsa, as well as some plant-based cheddar style cheese. I love love this cheese I think it melts beautifully so I got this one some onion as well as some fresh cilantro some salt and pepper and if you want to add a little something extra to your quesadilla I tried this this past week with uh, the plant-based ground beef from Gardein. This thing is delicious I hadn't had it before even though I always saw Victor have it and it is so good so for this next one, we need to mash up our beans. The nice thing about making beans at home is really that you end up having excess liquid, but that excess liquid doesn't look all slimy because it's naturally from the water that's in the, that you use to cook the beans. So it actually ends up working out a lot better than using canned beans, in my opinion. I'm gonna heat up my pan here. This is my first time using this, so I really hope that I don't burn our place down. That would not be fun. The tortilla is slightly warmed on one side, so I'm going to be adding in my mashed beans on half of it. And if I was adding in the garden, I would add it on top of the pinto beans. And on this side, I'm going to be adding in my cheese. I just split it in half. I'm gonna flip it to the cheese side since the beans are warmed up already. If you don't wanna add cheese, you don't have to, but I think the cheese makes it a quesadilla. I thought about making this without the cheese and it just doesn't, you just don't do that. You don't take the cheese away from a quesadilla, then it's not a quesadilla. <laughs> I remember growing up, I ate so many of them. And then when Victor and I got married, he would buy that big five pound bag of, of um, of cheese, of mozzarella cheese at, at Walmart. It was it was insane. I did not support it, but he he would actually go through it. It was insane. Like, and he'd go through that in like less than a month. He would just down quesadillas like crazy. Okay. Well, my cheese hasn't thoroughly melted, but I am gonna start adding everything in. All right. Here we go. Got a quesadilla. Now let's add. Oh yeah, that's nice. I'm gonna add some onion, of course, some cilantro. Oh, I love lime on this. And my beans are actually not salted. I add salt to them after. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. some pepper because we're fancy and here's our quesadilla I'm telling you guys this one's actually so delicious if you try any of them definitely try this one out at least once I know it has like the vegan cheese but hey gotta have fun sometimes don't you now we're gonna transfer our salsa add some of the fresh onion some cilantro as well and 
you can add some of that lime. And this is just gonna bring out that flavor of the salsa even more. Kind of mix that in. And if you want, you could also add some extra salt and some pepper. Now with our salsa, we're just gonna put this here while we move on to making the next one. Now onto the tostadas. For the tostadas, of course, you're gonna need tostadas and your pinto beans. You're gonna need a red bell pepper. You can use any color if you want. Some onion, some cilantro, as well as some salsa verde, some lime and avocado. Let's add some of our beans, the same smashed beans that we used for the quesadilla. As you saw, for this one, we're going to be adding in some red bell pepper. I wanna make sure that I get at least some form of veggie in there. So for this one, we're gonna do bell pepper. And it's crispy, and I feel like bell pepper just goes really well with like beans and stuff. Add in some cilantro. You guys, I don't know if you guys can tell my change of voice throughout the video. I woke up at 4.30 in the morning, so I was still a little tired, but I'm making it happen. So just FYI, if you hear the noise, or if you hear the change in my voice, that's that's totally why. Um, finally waking up, and I still haven't had my coffee, so yeah. But we got our cilantro, and I love a lot of cilantro, so just FYI. And then we got some onion, sprinkle that on there. That avocado came out oh my gosh it's so cute it, it's perfectly round I'm gonna add a tiny bit of avocado at the top add some salt and pepper to this simple pinto bean inspired meals they are super easy to put together and make an easy and simple weeknight dinner as well so hope you enjoy them hope you make them victor looked at these as soon as he saw them he was like wow i want one can i have one for breakfast so they look appetizing and maybe you could make these when somebody comes over and you could you know show them a little simple vegan meal and uh yeah, that's it for me today. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for bearing with me as I wake up this morning because it was a little rough. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video very soon. Bye. Ooh. Behind Ooh. the scenes. That smells good too. Mmm. <laughs> Is it good? I feel like I'm in Mexico. Wow. High claims. Would you recommend somebody to try it? It's so good. Yeah. The cheese smells so good. I made all of these in like an hour and a half. What? So this says how easy it is, especially with like filming, editing, and all that stuff. Moving stuff around. So if I can make it, you can make it. <laughs> Yummy, 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 for sure. Really good. <laughs> Time for breakfast. Okay.